Hi everyone, I'm Fred Robinson with Team Body Helix and these tips that I'm giving out are designed to help you in the stumbling blocks or areas that you can't get through in your game how to move through it. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel. If you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. That way when I post a new video, you'll get notified. One of my friends wrote in and said, hey coach, if you have a drop shot, when do you use it? It's a great question. The answer to that depends upon the person that you're playing. If you're playing someone who's lightning fast, runs them down, and it's like taking a candy from a baby, and they're winning the points from you over and over, and they can do that all day long, it's probably not going to be the best way to play them, though it's still effective. One thing you want to remember when you're doing drop shots, and I'll start a match using them, is if I play six drop shots and I lose three points and I win three points in the beginning of the match, that's not an even split because of the energy that it takes for them to get this. It's like a body punch. If I'm winning half of the drop shot points, I'm killing my opponent because they're running a lot harder than I am. So basically, uh, one of the main questions on the drop shot is, and I'll just give this quickly, we may do more tips on this if we need to, but the question is, do you drop shot when you're back here on the baseline? Yes, you drop shot when you're at the baseline. The pros do it, and you'll see Nadal and Novak having a hard time get to it. You use the drop shot from anywhere on the court, depending upon your skill level. What's important is that you practice the drop shot, you own the drop shot on the forehand and the backhand, and you run your opponent to death on that court. You punish that. I hope this tennis tip will help you move through it.